Use one of the best running plays in the game to pick up easy first downs and easy yardage. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, back uh, in the Bears uh, playbook, uh, Gun Wing Tight. Uh, I started building an offensive uh, passing scheme around this particular run play, and it's the gun, uh, it's a, the wing tight inside zone. Now, you can find this also in the Browns, the Panthers, Chiefs, and the 49ers. And for some particular reason, this play has just got excellent blocking. You get like a, a, a double teams on the inside, and it actually will get yourself to the next level. Um, I can pretty much assure you that uh, for the most part, you're always going to get positive yards. So this is a really good play to jump into uh, in a fourth and one, uh, third and one type situation. You can, you can use this. And with the, the previous plays I showed you in passing, um, it really can open up your offense a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside zone and see, show you how easy it is to run this. All right, so this is out of the gun wing tights, and the, the play is going to be inside zone. It's actually one of my set audibles, um, and I was actually trying to find some other runs that really complement it, but this run is just hands down probably one of the best ones in this formation, and it always gives you an opportunity to go ahead and cut it up and get some pre pretty yard easy yards against this. Now, we're going to go ahead and run this against random uh, 34 defenses, so I don't know what the computer's going to come out, but when you have three tight ends, you're usually going to have your opponent try to match up defensively against three tight ends and a wide receiver and a running back. All right, so uh, with this particular run play, basically we're going to take a look at the guards and determine if they get a man that's lined directly over them or partially over them. Now, if you could take a look right now, uh, we've got the left guard that doesn't have a defender, so he should probably pick up a double team over that defensive tackle and actually penetrate up, and that's going to be the area we're going to go in and try to run with the ball. So right there, uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, the hole, actually, the defender, actually, the uh, the... the Lineman actually went up to the next level, and that was where the hole is going to be at. So I'm just going to go ahead and run behind that. Now, another thing, too, I've noticed is that if you hit the turbo just as you're hitting the line of scrimmage and you're actually getting past the, that hole, that's going to open things up for you. Now, right here is another situation where the run uh, off to the right-hand side is going to be very stacked up, but off the left-hand side, you might be able to go ahead and get uh, get the run off, and you're going to try to go off that left tackle because you can see there's less body. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can go and get it off the left tackle. And right there, we're just going to cut it out. So uh, everybody's inside the box, and we're just going to go to the outside. And right here, we're just going to go right up the, the alleyway right there. And actually, with a nice little turbo, you're going to pick up some good 10 yards or so. So uh, a typical 34-odd um, uh, defense. Uh, you Sometimes you can cut this back up into that back side of that, that uh, center. So this is a really effective run. I've, I've been finding I'm always getting positive yardage with this. And I'm even going against a very stout Philadelphia defense. Now, obviously, if they bring their safeties down like this, this is probably where you're actually going to uh, probably not get the most yards. But I, this, the blocking on this particular play is phenomenal, and it's a good way to go and establish your run. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the, the corner. We can. And we got some pretty good blocking right there and a, and a bad spin move. But uh, this is a play you want to go and take a look at. So if you have some of the, the playbooks that we were, that I've been showing you, um, it, you probably want to go and jump into it because you can pick up some good yards. So guys, if you are looking for run plays or other different types of tips, make sure you hit the subscribe, uh, subscribe button. And also smash that, smash that like button for me, guys. I really appreciate it. It really will help. Once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.